Hey, good afternoon, and it's time for another web chat here with Progression Technologies. Uh, today we're going to hit on SolidWorks Enterprise PDM and managing our assets, saving times with Enterprise PDM. A pretty generic title. What I'd actually like to do is let's start at the base and build a foundation. And to do that, we're going to talk about Enterprise PDM templates. Uh, folder templates and file templates. We'll start out with folder templates because that really does develop the base for your operations for any projects you have. And basically you can use a template to automate the creation of files and folder structures within Enterprise PDM. It can take a little bit of time to get set up and let it work properly for your organization, but ultimately it's going to improve consistency, accuracy, standardize the structure, and also ensure that a minimum amount of information is always available when initiating a new project. So let's jump right into and talk about folders. Um, so when we're using folder templates or project templates, the, uh, the great thing is it standardizes and ensures that folders that you want to have available to your users are there so that you can organize your information accurately. Uh, the other thing that templates do is they interact with a number of other functions within EPDM, such as data card variables, such as serial numbers, lists, user groups, users and group controls, and also categories, uh, custom properties. So they really do reach out into the uh, enterprise PDM and and pull information and push information for you automating what you need to do let's uh, let's take a quick look at a project folder here on my machine so if I come into my vault I've got a, a folder here called projects and if I open this up you can see I've got a number of, of projects going here all of them fairly standard we have uh, a name, something here in the beginning, uh, serial number, which in this case happens to be the date, and then a four-digit number after that. So we've got all of this being being automatically populated for us with the tool to ensure we have a minimum amount of information. We can also dive into this a little further, and if we take a peek inside a folder, here we've created folders. We've got 2D data, correspondence, customer info, models. If we dive in a little deeper into our models folder, for instance, you can see we've got an additional folder here for our drawing files. And then we've even gone ahead and let it automate and create a part for us. And we can click that part. We can see here it's populated the customer name into that part, the project number, uh, is also populated for us. So we're pushing that information in and avoiding having to enter it two, three, four times. Uh, great time saver. Also uh, eliminates typos, that kind of thing. Great tool. So let's jump back into our admin tool and see how we go about doing this. So again, as I mentioned earlier, with templates, we're going to be interacting with our file cards, folder cards, and template cards. Uh, we also can pull information from categories. We can use our lists. Here we've got a, several lists. We've also got serial numbers. You can see here we've got different serial numbers for different groups or different items. And then finally we have to create our template. So let's take a look at our project template right now. So we'll go ahead and open this. So this first card, pretty easy one. We want to know what it's going to look like when somebody right mouse clicks inside of Explorer, what we're going to see. So if we jump back, we can see what how that's sent in here. Let's just jump up to the top of our vault. We'll right click, New, and you can see here it is, Project standard just like it is in that window all of these items are already there they're normal windows explorer functionality uh, these up 
other ones here we've added ourselves. So, so that's what that first line is looking for for us. So we'll go ahead and head back to our template card now and we'll go ahead and select next. Now here's where we choose who we're going to execute this template as. And in our case, we actually have to execute this as the admin because not all of our users have the ability to create folders. But since this creates a specific set of folders, we're going to allow any user to do it, um, but they will have to run as admin. Next, we start getting into our template cards and vari template variables. So uh, here we've got our SolidWorks project template card. And if we open it up, you can see here, pretty basic. We haven't added a whole lot to it yet. Uh, project number, customer name, project type, which actually you can see here is actually controlled by a list. We're actually using a list there. Project location, uh, just some random information that we want to collect and ensure gets pushed through to the files. We'll go ahead and close out of this for now. But we take those uh, variables off of our project card, and what we're going to do is create a template variable. This is just strictly that. It's a temporary variable so that we can take information that people enter and push it through to these other card variables that we're linking to. And a little hint here, uh, keep it simple. You can see here, all I've done is add a little t underscore and use the exact same file name that uh, we're using on the on the card variable. No need to get fancy, it just keep it simple, keep it easy to remember. So we've told it to go ahead and copy these back and forth. Now is where we're going to actually create our folders. And here you can see we've started out with our upper level folder and we've tied that to the customer name and then the project number variable. Below that, we've got our 2D data folders, our correspondence, our customer. Then we come in here to our models. You can see when we click on that, we come over here and we've actually got it creating a file name, a file for us. And then we've got our drawings files. So um, let's take a quick peek here at this part that we're creating. And you can see here we've got a source file, which we'll discuss in our files templates. We've got it numbering it, again, using that project number variable. Uh, this time we're just grabbing a, a little serial number behind that, and then uh, our part file type. So, um, And then here we're going to push this information to our part. And you saw that earlier, and we'll look at it again where it shows up in our uh, project on our project card. So uh, again, pushing that information through, minimizing data entry. Go ahead and select next. Now this icon, choose the icon, and this really can be anything you want it to be. Obviously, if you're creating a file, you may want to use the icon that represents that file. Just because that's what we're all used to seeing. But beyond that, you can use pretty much anything you'd like. Pick one that looks nice to you. Um, you can add your own later. But go ahead and just add an uh, icon there to represent that in the, uh, in the tool. And then finally, who's allowed to use this? And you can do this by user or by groups. And again, Best practice always suggests use assigning it by groups, just again because it ensures that you're not going to accidentally leave somebody out later when you've got a large number of users. Um, but either way, it works just fine, and uh, so we're going to go ahead and get every, give everybody access to this particular um, template. So we'll click OK. So that's kind of the the basics on the creating a project uh, template.
where we can really get into things is with our parts. And so what we're going to do real quick is we'll look at our project part. And again, we're, we, we're going to give it a menu string. Uh, anyone's allowed to make a part, so we'll just leave that as is, use whoever's creating it. And then we've got to push that or get that information to a project card, part card. So we've got a card assigned for this. And project part. And here you can see we've got a project number where it's going to ask us for the author, a description, and a project type. And uh, we can add all sorts of variables here. And um, you can see this one's very basic. If we look at our if we look at our standard part card here if we come up here you can see we've got a little more information we're actually grabbing here and one of the things you'll notice is this card looks very similar to our file card for SolidWorks parts. And the reason for that is not wanting to just reinvent the wheel for fun, what I did is simply came up here, I had a card that already looked how I wanted it to look, had everything set up, and I went up here and just did a file save as and selected template card and saved it. And now I've got all that information the main thing you're going to have to look at is this card is now going to be receiving information from the template card. So some of these where you had it linked to its own uh, serial number in the past, you're going to want to change that to now pull in that information from the template card. Um, but uh, but again, great way to save time and effort on your part. Don't reinvent the wheel. Just grab it and copy it. All right, so let's jump back to our uh, template here. And we'll take a look at those template card, that template card again for the standard part. So if you can see here, we've got all of those variables that it asked for. And we went ahead and we're just going to pull some of that information in. So we've got a customer name, we've got the description, uh, the part number, and project type. And so, you know, and we can go on and on. We can grab additional information here if we'd like. But those are what we primarily are interested in. And then here you can see we're using just a uh, the part number variable to name our part. We're copying over the customer name, the project type, the part number, and the description. Now I want to go back real quick and talk to you about this source file. The source file you're using here is not a SolidWorks template. It's actually a, an empty SolidWorks part you've created. Maybe you've populated some of the data in that, some of the custom properties already and saved it. And so I've got a uh, folder called source files and I go ahead and put some of my source files in there so that it's just easy to remember, get to, kind of protect them. So, uh, so we've got that as our source file. Then we're going to assign it a part name. And then we also go ahead and show the file card data card once it's created just so we can see what information's there. Uh, finally down here you can choose to check the file in or not right when you start and um, uh, it's up to you how you want it to work uh, as far as recording that information initially um, but uh, another one there that often you can check. Alright so um, uh, we've got an icon. Obviously, we're creating a SolidWorks part. We'll go ahead and use that. And once again, everybody gets access to this. So let's take a look at that standard part in action. So we're just going to come in here and we're going to 
right click and new and we're going to grab standard part. So you can see here it's given us a part number created by admin and really that's all we've asked it for. We can go ahead and type in a description here as a new part and go ahead and save that out. Now we get to our actual file data card and here we've got our description came through. We're going to go ahead and assign it a project type now and we'll leave it at that for now and just tell it to create the file. So now we'll select it and take a look at the data card it's created for us. So we've got our part here, new part admin, and a project type. And uh, the reason for this project type, just as a side note, we're actually going to be using this variable to control some workflow down the road in another video. And so we're just adding this information so that we have these properties available uh, to push things through different workflows. So um, that's the, the purpose there. And, and you can add all sorts of things to that. Um, but that's, uh, that's our goal right now. And uh, so that's, that's kind of the lowdown on uh, Enterprise PDM templates. Uh, be looking for some additional information on these, a little more in-depth. Uh, on how we can create uh, different structures and push that information through. And I uh, hope you got some good information. As always, uh, feel free to uh, email us and let me know if we can be of assistance to you. Shoot us an email. Uh, this is my email. Always you can email support at progressiontech.com and uh, we'll be glad to get with you and, and help out wherever we can. Thanks, folks.